Okay, when your computer reboots, you need to go into BIOS, and you need to make sure that virtualization is turned on. So when my computer comes up, I'll have to go and press the delete key, and the delete key will go into BIOS. Now, your computer, if it has a different motherboard than mine, I have an Asus here, if it has a different motherboard, it might be a different key that you press. So as it's booting up, it'll give you a quick message, and you'll need to run that. Then you want to go here into advanced mode, uh, or at least I do on my computer. You might not see an option for advanced mode. So I'm going to run advanced mode. I'm going to click over here on advanced. And then I'm going to click over here on CPU configuration. So I want to see how my CPU is configured. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for virtualization. So I want to turn virtualization on. Right down here it says Intel virtual, virtualization technology is enabled. That will allow me to run multiple operating systems at the same time. Now this doesn't work on every processor or every computer. This will only work on Intel. It might work on AMDs. You'll have to look it up. But it'll, it works on the Intel i3, i5, and i7 series. And you'll need to turn on virtualization technology. Once that's enabled, um, then, I, th then I'm good to go. Um, with the virtualization. Another thing to look at is hyperthreading. Uh, the i3, the i5, and the i7 chips allow you to actually run two commands at the same time uh, if the program is written properly. So you can make sure that uh, hyperthreading is also enabled as well. Then when you're done, you just exit that. Now if I had to make changes to my BIOS, which I didn't, uh, then I would choose Save the Changes and Reboot. Since I didn't make any changes to my BIOS, I can discard the changes and exit. Keep in mind that uh, changing anything else on here, you really have to know what you're doing because it is possible for you to make it so that your computer won't boot. So uh, only change the uh, options that I told you to look at and then... Uh, we can disk, uh, since I didn't make any changes on my computer, I'm going to discard and exit, and then that will reboot the computer. So I will exit without saving.